welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name's Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the WW Blue Plan. Today I have a grocery haul for you. I just got back from vacation so I did a little bit of a stock up haul. I'm back to meal prepping, making dinners in the evening so I needed quite a few things. I am extremely busy right now so I decided to just go with a Walmart grocery pickup. So everything you see today is from Walmart. If you're new to my channel, make sure you stick around and subscribe. I'd love to have you join my community. It's a pretty fun place to be. Make sure you thumbs up this video if you enjoy grocery hauls. Check out the description box down below to find the information on my nutrition coaching. I do offer macro and calorie calculation, which I highly recommend. Everyone knows where they should stand calorie and macronutrient wise. Group coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching. There's a little bit of something for everyone, so check out that description box down below. You're also going to find links and discount codes to all of my favorite things. And of course the link to head over and join us on Facebook. We have a community of 17,000 amazing supportive people. So we'd love for you to head over and join us there. So let's jump into this week's WW grocery haul, meal plan and meal prep. Here's this week's grocery haul. I just returned from my trip, so a little bit of a stock up. I did go ahead and just do Walmart grocery pickup just because I'm super busy this week. I didn't really have time to do my own shopping, which actually benefited me in a couple of areas with substitution. So I did pick up quite a bit. What you don't see is some Diet Coke and some Coors Light for my husband, as well as just a couple of household things, which I'll show you guys at the end of the video. So let's jump into the grocery haul. I decided this week to go ahead and pick up a large bottle of kombucha just because I still have a couple of full bottles. This should be enough. This large bottle is actually the equivalent of three regular bottles and this is less than seven dollars when the normal bottles are three dollars a piece so this is actually a really really good deal and it'll be perfect this week it'll fill the gap from what i have in my fridge of regular bottles snack pack of chips for troy's lunch uh, this is one that we normally don't buy so i thought it would be a little bit of change of pace until i can get to costco to buy the big box so there's classic lays doritos the white cheddar popcorn pretzels and then wavy lays so i thought this would definitely be a little bit of a change of pace for him and then this was a substitution I actually ordered the little four pack of pudding just the little cups for a dollar well they didn't have that so they substituted this pack which I've never seen before can you guys see how big those cups are so it says 60% more so these are larger pudding cups and this is a larger pack and I still only paid a dollar so sometimes substitutions can definitely work in your favor and then I was out of my favorite honey mustard, the French's. I love this. It has nice clean ingredients. It's so good. I love it with chicken nuggets. It's my very favorite thing. So I restocked that. And then Troy asked for a restock of chili. So I picked up the Nally cheese chili and the Nally thick chili. Now I don't know the points on these. They may not be actually too bad. So of course those will be here on the screen for you. For lunches, he wanted kind of an Italian style of sandwich. So I grabbed three quarters of a pound of ham, half a pound of salami, and half a pound of pepperoni. And that should be perfect for his lunch. They did substitute the ham just with a different brand, which was completely fine with me. Also for his lunch, I did Swiss cheese this week. So this is the 12 slices of the Great Value Swiss cheese. I was out of lemon juice, so I picked up just another small container. I just like to have this on hand. Sometimes I put it in my water, and then for recipes and baking, I like to have lemon juice. This was the substitution. I actually ordered the Great Value potato bread, and they subbed with the Ore Wheat. So just the name brand doesn't really matter to me. It's for Troy's lunches. And then I picked up six cans of the cut green beans, no salt added for my dogs. They get green beans after our meals. So I went ahead and just grabbed six cans. That way I'm all stocked up and ready to go. I needed panko breadcrumbs for a recipe and I did not have any in my pantry. So I grabbed the Kikoman panko Japanese style breadcrumbs. Troy also asked for fruit cups for his lunch. And this was a really good deal at Walmart. This is 12 
cups of the no sugar added peaches, pears, and mandarin oranges. And I want to say this was like $4. So really, really good deal. So you get a little bit of a variety pack in there. And again, these are zero points because they are no sugar added. So this was a substitution. I actually ordered chicken thighs for a recipe and they substituted with chicken breast, which is fine. I went ahead and just accepted it to make it easy, but I did actually order thighs. I believe I have a pack in my freezer, so I should be okay for the recipe. And then I'm actually making a recipe this week that calls for rotisserie chicken. So I thought that I would save myself a little bit of time and I just bought this pulled rotisserie chicken white meat. So there's no dark meat in here. So it's zero points and it's already pulled and ready to go, but it has that rotisserie seasoning. So this was a pretty good deal. I believe it was like $5, $5.50. So pretty much the same price as a rotisserie chicken, but all the work is done for me, which I appreciate. And then I needed rice. I was almost out. So I picked up this organic California white jasmine rice. Troy asked for Ritz crackers because he's as addicted to the La Terrafina dip as I am because it's amazing. So he likes to dip the Ritz in there. So this week I picked up the Coffee Mate Fun Fetty Creamer. I love cake anything. And this one is actually really, really delicious. So I picked this up. I still have a little bit left over, but I don't know that I would make it through the week. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't run out of coffee creamer because that would not be good for anybody. A restock of the Stonefire non-crisp crackers. This time I just grabbed the sea salt. They didn't have the garlic one on the app, so it may be out. I like the Trader Joe's ones, but these you definitely get more bang for your calorie and points buck. Those are five crackers for 120 calories, and these ones are 12 crackers for 130. So you actually get way more crackers with these. So again, this is for that dip that we love. So I picked those up. And then two boxes of stuffing, which was Troy's request. So I have the traditional sage and then I have just the chicken stuffing. So we could use this as a side dish with a dinner recipe and stuffing and is actually pretty point friendly. And then I decided to grab some ice cream bars, the Yasso mint chocolate chip. I really wanted Yasso and this was the only option on the app. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then some more frozen meals for Troy. I did the lean cuisine Alfredo pasta with chicken and broccoli and the Lean Cuisine Vermont White Cheddar Mac and Cheese. And then I actually had selected the Lean Cuisine Rigatoni and they substituted it with this Smart Ones Three Cheese Ziti with Meatballs. So I thought that was fine. I'm wondering what his thoughts are on this versus the Lean Cuisine. And then this was another big substitution and I believe everything else by the way is produce. I ordered the Great Value Organic Small Bag of the Steamable California Blend. They didn't have that, so they substituted it with this ginormous bag of bird's eye. Luckily, broccoli and cauliflower are on the Clean 15. Carrots, generally, you want to buy organic, but I couldn't pass up this huge 60-ounce, three-pound bag for $1.97 that I would have paid for the small bag of the organic. So I grabbed that. I ordered some onions. Now these should have been organic. They're not, not a big deal because onions have a peel. So the pesticides generally don't reach the onion itself. It's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and use it. And then I did pick up some asparagus for a recipe. One lone orange. This is for meal prep. Wait till you guys see what I have in store for meal prep. Sugar snap peas for a recipe. Broccoli. Broccoli is on the clean 15, so you do not have to buy it organic. I did grab some organic whole carrots only because I have several, several recipes this next week that call for carrots. So I just grabbed a big bag. And lastly, some baby spinach. I've been really liking putting this in my eggs or at least just kind of sauteing it down for some greens in my meal. So I picked that up. So that is everything for food for the week. Let me show you the few household things that I picked up and then we'll talk about my meal plan and what you'll see on Monday for meal prep. Just a couple of home things. We needed some more sponges. So I grabbed the three pack of Scotch Bright. Toilet gel, I really like this. I just squirt this on the side of my toilet bowl and it really does help keep it clean. I've never tried this scent, but it's pretty inexpensive. It's about $4 and there's eight little times that you can push the button for the gel. So it's actually a really good deal and I get, it definitely makes a difference on keeping your toilet clean. And then I needed some suction cups because I have a plan on how I wanna hang my jewelry on the mirror in my little jewelry cabinet because my Kendra Scott jewelry is all in little baggies and I wanted to be able to hang it up. So I was going to suction it to the mirror. So we'll see if that actually works out, but I picked those up. And then just a few wax melts just for some fun fall smells. I have crisp fall leaves 
apple pumpkin and then I actually ordered cinnamon and they substituted apple cinnamon which is just fine. So now let's jump into meal plan and meal prep. Here is this week's meal plan. This is the week of October 17th through the 23rd. Can you believe October's almost over? I feel like it just got here. But this is this week's meal plan. So Saturday we always go out for dinner support a local business. So I'm not sure what we're doing, but I never slate myself a meal to cook on Saturday. Sunday, I'm going to be making chicken noodle soup. I'm so excited for this. The weather here is getting cooler. It just sounds really, really delicious. And you actually will see that video in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday, I'm doing crab cakes. I am feeling crab cake. So I'm so excited for that. Tuesday is always a leftover night just because I have jazzercise. Wednesday, I'm doing chimichangas and refried beans. I'm bringing in some Mexican vibes. Thursday is a steak stir fry. I actually just got my butcher box. So I have a ton of red meat, steak and roast. So we're going to bring out some steak for that dinner. If you're interested in butcher box, I do have a link down below that you'll get $30 off your first box. So definitely check it out. They also have ground beef for life right now. So it's a great time to take advantage of butcher box. Friday is pot roast with potatoes. Again, hashtag butcher box. And then on the back here is where I always write down what I'm doing for my meal prep. You will see all of these recipes in Monday's meal prep video. So this week for breakfast, I'm doing a cranberry orange breakfast bake. So this is kind of a spin on a pancake bake. I'm really excited for this. I'll probably pair that with some eggs for zero points, maybe some bacon. Lunch is a teriyaki turkey rice bowl. I wanted something teriyaki. My husband isn't the biggest fan and I love it. So I thought that it would make sense for me to use it for a prep. So we're going to do that. And then I am excited for these. As you know, I've been incredibly busy, but I really need just something I can take on the go. So these pumpkin energy bites will do the trick. So I'm really excited for these nice, clean ingredients. Definitely WW friendly. So stay tuned for all three of these recipes in Monday's meal prep video. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul. I hope you gained a little bit of food inspiration from today's video. I can't wait for meal prep on Monday. You guys definitely want to stay tuned for that. And of course, any other recipes that I share here on my channel, I did just upload three copycat fast food recipes. Definitely check that video out. They were amazing and they are all on my website. I do have a website dedicated strictly to my recipes. It's jenswwjourney.com and it's down in the description box. Also in the description box are links and discount codes to my favorite things. The link for you to head over and join me on Facebook and my nutrition coaching website. So check all of that out. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed, we'd love to have you. So make sure that you hit the little subscribe button and the bell next to it. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me. Happy Saturday, my friends, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.